See that you're downloaded. And you are too. You're downloaded. See, it says it's fucking downloading me. That's not there. Right? How long it's been? Shh, creature. Creature? Creature. Creature. Ah, ancient alchemy truly is fascinating. Wait, I have this shit in English? In English. Okay, I'm change that. Get back in there. Chinese. Language. Is this going to be terminal? It's probably going to be terminal. Creature, you are so noisy. Might as well change it right now because of happening yes ah oh, for fuck's sake now it's making me look at a code and shit <sighs> one day one day one day i will be so horrible at anything Fucking second, did I log on to the wrong account? No, I don't have any Instagram accounts, do I? Oh my god. Fuck me. Total account, because I'm going to be fucking crazy. I'm going to be miserable someday. Here we go. Yeah, I've got busted through the mainframe. Okay. Shit's still downloading. Mimi? Are you a cat?
いいですいいですいいですいつ思ったらいつ思ったら If only it didn't make me re-download fucking everything every time I played this game on this computer. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh god, there's so much shit on my desk rattling every time I move an inch. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna do it. My idiot says I have one viewer and I'm not. Do something good.
这个应该不用写失物招领吧？不虚此行。Something. Oh, motherfucker. My underground. God damn it. Oh, okay. oh, okay. No, I can't this now. Oh my god, yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, cat. You can project your voice very hard. 130. No. Not that much of a dumbass. What the fuck's this hat? I think I'm going insane. No, I have a screenshot. I have a screenshot of it somewhere. Fucking absurd. That is, though. Oh shit, it's not done. Let me go and update my bonus skills. No. 
no camera on this thing so yeah okay well i don't know where the fuck i to put this i could go find that place one day because i know i have a screenshot of it Xiao. 
，哪怕是冰雾花也会融化的吧？嗯、呃，仔细想想，其实不会了。<笑>聚收并蓄。Most of my teams weren't really like this. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Oh, so many sounds.
不要害怕犯错，犯错也是学习过程中的一环。买些常用的香料吗？价格实惠哟。常用的香料吗？价格实惠哟。Two people here. Fuck, I can't tell. It says I have two viewers. Knowledge's value is not easy to measure. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Hi, do you know why? Oh, I have two viewers. Okay, it's officially saying I have two viewers. I really wish that it would just fucking... God, I am not good at this stuff. Well... If any of you are on the Genshin Impact and you're on the North American server, you can, uh, you know, pop by. No, I'm still alive. Yeah, I'm still alive. But yeah, no, either of you. I don't know how. Oh no, I want to go through. We're going to. We're currently uh, farming. Scaramouche. Scaramouche. Wait. Wrong way. Shit. It's like it's being tortured, and it's... Okay, it's kind of funny. But also really annoying. So, I just want to refrain from recording on my phone, because originally I was going to record with it, but I guess it's not... I can... I'm not really terrible. Going to be farming. I'm going to be pulling for a special slot weapon and. Exactly what his weapon, his special slot five star weapon, will be using. You're most certainly not. Let's do this. Let's do this multiplayer. Yeah, 
再行动了。Used to being on like a more supportive role. I'm usually, usually just a full DPS. Because. Yeah, I've got it. Upon thousands, if not millions, of people who are currently in this domain, and I can match with exactly zero. She's so, she's so fucking pretty that I don't have her. She's so pretty. I've drawn her before, actually. But she's just, she's not good. She's like, okay.
case on her. Um, I've already got her like 100 crit rate so that I can have the full, like what we call 10 15% crit rate. Because I know these are going to be like stupid long, and I'm going to try to make sure there's not a whole lot of like dead air or anything, but I know that that's still going to end up happening. But I'm going to try to minimize dead air, I'm going to try to talk more, um, just say the things that come out of my mouth. Wait, that didn't make sense. Just say words. Person who goes out very much, which I'm sure is not surprising. 
but I don't go out very often. And so, um, I went to this house. It was for my friend's 18th birthday. Yeah, and he just turned 18. Why not? I haven't seen him in a And it was really nice seeing him. He's so much more different. It's, it's, it's crazy um, how like, much people can change over a few years. Because I, mean, I haven't seen him since like his second year of high school. And I technically I should be graduated. But I mean, I'm, I'm a dumbass, so I'm not. So <laughs> uh, yeah, but we went to this house party. And uh, I don't know what I was expecting. But I, I got it. I got what I was expecting. Um, a bunch of really drunk and high teenagers. Um, and I was just wallflowering. So I was just sitting in the back, watching everybody act like dumbasses. I was greeted at the door by my friend holding a bong. Uh, I don't know if my dad saw that, but <laughs> I came home smelling like weed, so you know, he, he knew that everyone was getting fucked up there. Uh, oh shit, okay. Then I... better bb let me know if it's uh better and you can hear me better because i can also move the microphone a bit closer aha thank you thank you for letting me know i would have gone the entire stream with that like that so yeah no i went to this house party and i was greeted by a bunch of really wasted children um i didn't have much alcohol because i don't like alcohol like i don't like the fuzzy feeling even whenever you just drink a little bit i don't like the feeling it's weird and disconcerting so I only had a little bit and it was like a punch and it was really gross but whatever and it, it, it was uh, labeled as paint water because it, it looked like it looked like paint water wait oh shit I was in the middle of something yeah it, it looked like paint water so I drank a bit of it and then it just ended it in like a bunch of people screaming the lyrics to uh, Pain for a Day by Pierce the Veil, which is not unsurprising, but it was really loud, and I would not have been surprised if that ended in, like, that night ended in the cops getting called to tell them to, you know, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but no, it was, it was a nice time, even if it was loud, and, like, I couldn't get in contact with my dad to, uh, come get me, because, you know, he didn't have his notifications on, so he didn't give me my texts. And I was texting my mom as well. She also had a notification. Well, I don't know if the notifications were on or off, but she was she was unconscious. So I ended up staying for about an hour longer than I originally intended. Because I couldn't get in contact with anyone. And I like, didn't have like my bus pass or any money for bus. And even if I had... Um, you know, I'd been drinking, and I stunk of weed. I'm like, yeah, sure, weed's, it's legal here, but these people, none of them got it legally. None of these kids got it legally, no one was legally of age to pick up weed. Because I think I was 21, you need to be. And we're all, like, 18 to 19, which I don't know the ages of the other people, but they looked 18 to 19. So yeah, no, it was, it was interesting, it was an interesting experience, and as lovely as it was to see my friend again, I never want to go to a house party ever again in my life. That was not my more ideal way to spend a day, because it was so loud. Originally, my girlfriend was supposed to come. But she, oh, she did not, because she is in college. My friend's in college, and she is very, very, very busy. Um, so she can't, you know, she can't go out very often, but she's supposed to come over on, uh, next weekend. I asked if she could come over this weekend, but she cannot because she has a ton of what was it? She called it, she, it had a name, it was 
sounds like new and flat. If she has to flat, like, make a 3D object and flat it down. Which sounds awful and incredibly tedious. But you know, she agreed with me. It's not, apparently, it's not fun. Which, yeah. But you know, she has to do that, so she is at home doing having so much fun, I'm sure. Flattening objects. Uh, so, yeah. Very, very exciting. This was here. Ah, fuck. Fuck you. I don't know what to use to get rid of the, the thing, the vines now, because there was like something in a quest that I was like we were given. It was something. And it would like it was like a a sprout thing, and you could equip it, and you could press like Z, and it would make thingies go away. But I don't think I have it anymore. Wait. Wait. What did it say? It said something. It said something. And I did not pay attention to what it said. Okay. No tree in Siri can respond to Boom and Deal. Fuck you. None of this stuff. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, they better not be bathing a cat. They- oh, I think they're switching out the fucking- The shower head. They bought a new shower head a while ago. Like, a month or so ago. And then they just never do anything with it. So maybe that's what they're doing. But either way, they're being loud. What am I thinking? What am I doing? No. Wait a second. They just put these there. I swear to God, they just did that. They didn't put shitload of. Wait. Max. Initiate. I swear to God, I'm not the only individual in my existence who remembers. <laughs> I remember it, it's basically nothing. It's pretty much useless. But I still, still manage to do it every week. Even if I'm not keeping back with the timing, like, that is not worth it. But I still do it. Because I'm retarded. That's the reason. It's because I'm retarded. And I'm like, wasting my time. It's a nice down here. Oh, I remembered. Okay. Shit. Okay, so I need to go back up. I need to head back up there. I'm gonna go grab some shitty mushrooms. Some mushrooms that are an actual full nightmare to farm. I hate them. It wasn't, it wasn't fun farming them for Kole, and it is certainly not fun farming them for Scottish. But you know what? I have waited over two years. Two years for this stupid motherfucker to release. I have saved a completely retarded amount of wishes. I don't even know what how much. I think it's a I think I have a bit above hundred and no, not hundred. Seven hundred and fifty something of them of wishes. But you know what? See, you know, I've got a lot of dedication to this character. So you know what? I can fix up. Ah, shit. Control? Aha! Okay, it's that magic button. But no, I can weather through. I can pick some mushrooms and be miserable about it for a little while. Because I am strong. I am strong and I can hit myself. A little bit longer. <laughs> Do you ever want to feel pathetic? Do you ever want to feel, feel really pathetic? 9% of the time, I'm a lucid dreamer. 
so I know I'm asleep. I can't control the direction of the dream, but I control my actions, even if they're completely futile. So, one of the few times that I'm not lucid in these dreams is whenever I'm having a dream where I accidentally fucking spend all of my wishes in Genshin Impact. That is... It's completely pathetic, and I can't wait to fucking spend all those, these wishes so I can stop having those <laughs> nightmares. <laughs> it makes me feel like such a loser. <laughs> it, it makes me feel like such a loser. Because it's, it's so stupid. Oh shit. I'm a dumbass. What did I do? Oh. Oh my god. God hates me. Ah, oh, fuck. Too far away. Let me zip line. Let me zip. Zip line. Oh, okay. I was doing this the other day and I couldn't figure it out. Okay. Okay, I got it. Fuck you, apparently. I don't got it. This is at least where the stupid thing is. No, it's not. What am I doing? Okay, no. It says that there's something. Oh, I already got that one. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's one of the. These are not remarkable. These are not remarkable. They fuck off. They say that these are remarkable chests, but they are the chests that everybody is disappointed about. Nobody wants to get a remarkable chest because there's nothing remarkable about them. They're the, they're, they're the chests of misery. That's what they are. That is the most suitable title for them. They are the chests of misery. Because who wants to just get a, like, a, a fuck. What are they called? Instructions to make something in the teapot when there's nothing new to do in the teapot. There's nothing to get anymore. Like, wishes, it's it's done. It's done, it's been done since the beginning of time. There's nothing to do there except to go collect your coins, your friendship XP, and do your farming. Which, technically, I don't even need to do anymore. I don't need to farm. I am, I am finished farming. I have gotten the achievement for farming like a bajillion and a half things, and yet, I still do it. I don't know why, but I still do. There's the Realm Beyond. Is it this one? Nope. Nope. Shit. Ah. 
Aha, you hit high. That was weird noise. I finished this one. Jesus. See? I still fucking do it. And guess what I won't do? I fucking hate fishing. I'll do it one day. I'll do it one day. Maybe I'll fish on stream. Maybe I'll go and I finish fighting some Nobushi. And then maybe I'll go do the very exciting task of repetitively catching fish so that maybe I'll get 20 Primo gems in a few months. This is so miserable. But yeah, no. This... I have been very pleased with Genshin recently. I mean, like, I finished the, uh, what do you call it? I finished the, oh my god, oh, the Archon Quest, the, the most recent Archon Quest, the, the storyline, I finished it, and it's been pretty good, I'll be honest, I quite liked it, though I was a bit disappointed with the <laughs> end. Um, I won't give any spoilers, but I was a bit disappointed with the end and how it, it ended. Um, it was a good ending, but there was just, um, there was something in specific I would have wanted to see, though I would assume that that would have been a while. So it's not really something to worry about. I just, I think it would have been better to at least give us something to lead up to that. So we got like a vague bit of information about it, um, from the character. I'm tiptoeing around it. I don't know why I'm tiptoeing. I don't think anyone who's watching me has really watched, has ever really played Genshin very often, because I know I've got, uh, BB here, and I don't know if he played Genshin Impact. Um, actually I don't know. But I would assume not. I would assume not. But you know what? I'm still. Yeah, so I thought right. So I, I don't think we ever. I've made a couple of videos about it. But otherwise, I don't think it's not something I talk about um, on my channel very much. <laughs> Yeah, no. The story, it was good. It was good. I liked it. Um, I think the boss fight was a bit easy. Like, too easy. Like, it was still, it was cool. It was super cool. Actually, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go do the boss fight. Because it is pretty badass, I'll be honest. Wait. I've already done it this week, but I'm doing it again so that you guys can see this sick ass fight because it is so cool. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed this fight. Uh, shit. Chat, we're gonna do this using Ganyu. We're gonna use Ganyu. Ganyu. Let's pull you out. Oh, never mind, we're not doing this using Ganyu. We're gonna do this using. Yoimiya. Yunjin, uh, Yunjin. Me. <laughs> Just completely cut her off. Oh, they should have added this as a pet. It's so fucking cute. Look at this thing. It's adorable. I want that as a pet. Please, Hoyo. Let us keep this adorable creature who is completely otherwise useless because it's just a mechanic in a fight. Like, that's cool as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Yeah. 
此乃天道。是成景。So very long. I'd finally, be happy to be able to get this character. I'm trying to get. I'm not trying because he hasn't been. I've been saving to get for God almost. Deep. And I've been saving this enemy. Oh, yeah, Nico's weapon. Where I got the primordial jade. Wait, no, primordial jade cutter. Is that what it's called? I just usually refer to it as like jade cutter. <laughs> Primordial J cut. I got that one in a awesome cloud of luck. So other than that, I have not pulled since January. 
Which is a... No, not January. February. So that's a really decently large amount of time. So we'll be finally able to pull... Get these primogems out of my... Out of my grasp. I don't know how much, like, money worth of primo gems that I currently have because the price of this shit is oh shit I need to fuck I need to buy my <laughs> I haven't gotten the welcome moon shit oh I don't oh I cannot do that right here I can't do that it requires me to type my shit in never mind I'll do that later because I have an auto, like a one-click pay on like my phone and my laptop. So I can't do that. But I got it. It's gotta be like a stupid amount of money that I have. Because I'm I'm not I'm not a dog. Well, Val passes every 40 days. Or every 40 some days. Oh no, it's less now. It's less now because we've got the uh, patches have been shortened down. Um, because of a uh, pandemic. The pandemic uh, made it so they couldn't update actually. And we had the eternal Ayaka banner where it was really funny. Uh, Banners. I think for like event characters, like I'll show here. Like 12 days left. Well, hers was set to like 260 days. Because it was supposed to be like an indefinite thing. But she just became like a good time. We thankfully did not have a 260 day long patch. That would have been terrible. But it was still a pretty lengthy patch. So every because of that, it went from patches being 42 days long to 35. So a week shorter than they usually are. So you know, just a little over a month long. So that is nice. So close, so close. I'm gonna do Yula. Wait, who do I usually keep here? Aha. Uh -huh. um, and then head over here. Yeah, we're gonna do some fishing. Alright, well, have a good night, uh, BB. Uh, have a good work day? I mean... Where do you work again? I can't remember where you work, but have a good have a good sleep. Uh, you should definitely indeed get go try to get some sleep. Uh, but thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Oh. Streaming definitely won't be a daily thing, but maybe I'll make it like a 
a weekly thing. Maybe I'll try to stream every week. If I'm feeling especially crazy, maybe I'll do it a couple times a week sometimes. feel very bright trying to set it up on YouTube because it was like telling me like oh your camera you need access to your camera it's going to be used by your camera I don't have a camera my computer has no camera it's a Huion uh, drawing tablet there's there's no webcam nothing so yeah I just gave up that for a while. Fixing it and doing that, they proceeded to take it up from 50 50 to 75 25, but the other way around, or something like that. that. No wonder all of the big streamers are moving to YouTube. Because I know, um, I don't watch YouTubers, I don't, they're not my, they're not my thing. But they have been moving over to YouTube, for the most part. Because of, I guess, pay discrepancy, and it really does have a YouTube which has a lot of YouTubers, because they make a YouTubers, and a bunch of like big and small streamers who are using the tag. So I know I think XQC was streaming using the VTuber tag. He's not a VTuber. He wasn't even using the VTuber not model. But he was allowed to do it. And a bunch of different uh, streamers were doing that. And Twitch just sorta... They acknowledged it was a problem. But they did nothing. They just uh, let it continue on. Which is definitely pretty frustrating. Especially when they ban and suspend uh, YouTubers constantly for nothing, essentially. Like, the last time I can remember an actually, like, justified uh, YouTuber ban was the streaming challenge with Splatoon, and they knew they were gonna get their- they were gonna ban for, like, the- Chroma keyed, uh. So that would be a posing thing. Whenever they got repainted, it would show chronography. So it was like putting chronography in the background. So it was the challenge was to see how long they can avoid being banned from uh, Twitch without, you know, from a. Uh, that's fucking hilarious. That's. Yeah, I am. That's. Don't ask me. But. It's worth it because that's. It's so stupid, it's funny. 
so that one that one those were those were justified bans so you know fair but in the meantime in the meantime would it be at the meantime would it be more justified especially when we have youtuber and other streamers specifically female streamers who they go and they don't even that's not even say not even show pornography they don't show recorded pornography yeah. let's just think about that one streamer went on a stream <laughs> And she got a seven so days ban. Seven days suspension. No karma ban. She should have gotten karma ban. Under their own the TOS, she should have gotten karma ban, but she didn't. And then when she got her account, <laughs> she did it again. She went and she had sex on stream again. And I don't think they karma banned her. I don't know if they have, but I honestly doubt that they karma banned her. So I don't know. I, honestly, I think that one's. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny that they managed to let her do that twice, at least twice. I don't know if she's gotten her account back and turned it again. But. And I mean. Because this is becoming a canning site. Let's be frank. Full like the titty streamers and hot tub streamers, it's becoming a canning site. And you know what? Fine. Let it be a camming site. I think that's fine. Let's just let the ladies cam. But if you're going to let them cam, these rules should also extend to other people, other streamers. Like, there was the when I Show Speed got, um, he got suspended or whatever because Jake Lucky narked on him oh, about. Um, Minecraft, like a sex mod. Like, that was a, a, a thing, and he got, he got knocked on. And that's, you know what? It's lame. That is lame. They should not have knocked on him like that. So I don't think I don't think he should have gotten banned for that. It was fucking Minecraft, and nothing even happened on screen. It was just happening in the background, and he was reacting to it. It's just that's so fucking lame. Speaking of lame, Jake Lucky, come on, dude, such a fucking mark. <laughs> that dude is such a. Mark. Maybe he maybe the English of the internet was a bit more wild fixed in ways. Like, I wish that I could post content more freely on YouTube because, you know, uh, my YouTube channel, I talk about, I talk about gore. Let's just, let's not beat around the bush. I talk about gore. And I wish, fuck, I wish that I could show the videos themselves. And I get a lot of really angry comments that I don't. I get people that show the video, show the video, show the video, show the video, show the video <laughs> wasting our time. And I wish I could. But I can't. If I, I, I've told the line a bit. Um, most recently, I made uh, the Puritan, Puritanism and Art video. And I majorly told the line with i used um she use uh eating people uh art display and if you've seen that one it's a it's a highly people debate over the legitimacy of it personally uh i think it could be legit i think we it could be legit. He's, he's mellowed out now. He does less crazy shit now. But he did a lot of um, art displays using actual human corpses. And in this eating people display, as the name would imply, he ate what appeared to be a fetus. 
and it I showed it completely uncensored in the video. And so far, I haven't gotten in trouble. The video actually has done really well. I think it's sitting at 500 some views. It's got like 30 something likes, zero dislikes. I was actually super happy about that. Um, I'm really happy with how that video turned out. You know, it's pretty nonsensical. There was no real direction in that video. I just really wanted to talk about the topic. And I showed a bunch of other art that had gore and like self harm and just a lot of. You know. No, no, talk. And I have so far gotten away with it. 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 But I don't think that will be the case forever. Especially if I use like a boot, a video. Someone will probably mark on me and I'll get in trouble from YouTube. I know. Mostly for to avoid getting into shit on YouTube. I mean, I don't like having my, my videos age restricted, and I've had videos age restricted. I have one of my videos has a suicide warning in the front. Um, I haven't really watched that video, so I'm not quite sure why it's there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I did talk about that at some point in the video. But I can't remember. And that does make it harder for viewers to ex um, access. I had a couple of comments saying that they can't access it due to age restriction. So that's pretty unfortunate. And I wish I could avoid that. Um, but the thing is, I have a lot of ways that um, Because, you know, YouTube doesn't even want you to swear. YouTube doesn't even want you to swear. They don't want you to say no no words. And I don't, I'm not interested in, you know, toning my language down. Because I, I don't, I swear a little bit. I swear quite a bit, actually. If you've been watching the stream, you can hear it. I've been swearing quite a bit. But even now, I, I even like in my YouTube videos, I, I tone it down a bit. So, even with it being toned down, YouTube wouldn't like that. When, YouTube wouldn't like me saying specific words that aren't even curse words. I want to know these days, I want to do a video about Peter Scully. Now, if you know who Peter Scully is, then you'll know he is a fucking freak. He is a freak of nature. He is the guy who filmed the very infamous Daisy's Destruction, which if you don't know what that is, oh, is you can a pull. video which... It's actually not one video, it's actually a set of several videos. That's something that a lot of people don't know. People, there's a lot of misconceptions about uh, Daisy Destruction and Peter Scott. Now he... Oh, Jesus. Sorry. It's not always weird. But this video, it was something that falls within the title of hardcore. It says it's a genre of very extreme violent pornography. <laughs> Most of the time hardcore involves children, <laughs> which is what Peter Scully did. And the DC's Destruction video specifically featured a 16 month old girl. Um, something that a lot of people um, are worried about and they misunderstand. I will put that to, to rest. Uh, she, Daisy is alive. Daisy is alive. She isn't okay. I won't, I won't go ahead and say she's okay because she's definitely not. But she is, she's alive. She can never have children because of the damage that was done to her body, which is terribly unfortunate. But overall, she is, she's safe, she is safe, she's okay. But if I were to talk about Peter Scully, Daisy's destruction, Daisy's dis, destruction, there we go. I would have to talk about it so very vaguely 
because YouTube would get mad at me. YouTube would get mad at me, they'd age the video, hell, they might even take the video down. They'd find something that violates and they'd take it down. And I would really prefer to not do that, especially if I'm going to spend a lot of time on a video. I don't, you know, I don't want to get it, have it, you know, to be taken down. I don't want it to be age restricted. I want it to be seen. So, to go ahead and make this video is very, very, very risky. I couldn't even say the word child pornography or CP. These are not words that I would be able to use very freely because it could get me in trouble. This is not even, we're not even bringing up the issue of monetization because people only make these videos. They get demonetized. They basically make no money ever. We're not even talking about monetization. I haven't even reached the ability to be monetized, and I honestly don't think I ever will be monetized. I mean, I'm at 700 subs. You need a thousand subs, um, and 40,000 watch hours or something. And I'm pretty close, but. You know, I don't think I'm ever going to necessarily become monetized. So at that point, I might. Uh, I have a coffee. Like a coffee cat. Oh. So I, I, I might just do like the whole hey, come see me on. Come donate to my coffee or something so I don't get shit from YouTube. They run ads on my videos, but they don't give me any of it because it's not ad friendly even when they're putting fucking ads on my my videos. So clearly it's ad friendly. Clearly my content is ad friendly if you're putting fucking ads on it. So you know. Uh, but silly me. It's a totally ridiculous notion now, isn't it? But yeah, no. It's a it's a it's a tough subject because I don't it's it's a you don't really have a choice you have to compromise even if compromising severely limits what you can do and specifically what i want to do is you know it's pretty dark content so i it's a it's a weird line to tread with youtube and it's even worse here on twitch so it's not i'm not going to be doing stuff like this on twitch um, I wish the internet was a little more wild west so I could get away with that stuff a bit more. Oh, cool. Like, even just saying no no words. It doesn't have to be. I have to be allowed to show some super not safe for work, not safe for life sort of thing on there and be able to get away with it. Because I know that's never really been totally kosher on on uh, YouTube, which I think can be best uh, shown by a tweet that uh, Rusty Cage made a long time ago, where he was talking about how he used to be pissed about how, about like, how censor, like, how, like, you know, the censor censorship on YouTube, because he couldn't show uh, a fucking beheading video. He couldn't upload a beheading video. And nowadays, if you say fuck on YouTube, you can get in trouble. If you say a no-no word, if you're, if you're just a little bit too mean in a video, you can get into pretty deep shit. And I think that that is so obnoxious. Like, ooh. Like, yeah, okay, I don't think you should necessarily be allowed to upload beheading videos. John. John, I'm gonna go and say it. I think we should. <laughs> I think we should be allowed to. I think we should be allowed to post petting videos and fucking cartel, cartel shit. I think we should be allowed. That'll never happen. It'll never happen. But you know what? It probably would be a horrible idea for it to let, for like, to let that happen. But in my ideal world, I would be able to post that. But that will never happen. But just a little bit of compromise to be able to talk about dark content. Let's think about, like, JCS psychology. Have you ever watched them? Fucking amazing content. Holy shit. Their videos were incredible. 
And for whatever weird reason, they always hit the algorithm with their videos, despite it like not being for everybody. They would always hit some weird algorithm that would recommend their psychology videos to a ton of people. So if you don't know what JCS was, it was a psychology channel where they would go and they would analyze uh, interrogation footage. And they did incredible work. I really do hope they get picked up to do some sort of documentary for some like TV company or streaming service like Netflix. I do hope they get picked up because they have that 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 group. They have an incredible talent for that. And they made very very high quality, respectful, um, true crime content. Because I know I get a bit. Like if you're in my Discord, I get a bit giggly sometimes about some stuff that's probably not appropriate. <laughs> but there's like a difference because uh, there are some videos, people who make these videos, and they'll be joking about stuff that really I won't say shouldn't be joked about. Because I think anything can be joked about if you so desire. But it's just a bit tasteless, a bit tasteless. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the BuzzFeed Unsolved, I'll be honest, I'm not. Um, and one of the reasons was because of the joking they would do about certain cases. One of the, th like the big one that I didn't like was that they were joking about Jean Monnet. But you know what? I get, I, I understand the usefulness of humor in situations like that, but I didn't like it. I didn't think it was quite respectful. Um, there are some, like, if you go and you'll see like the mukbang YouTubers eating like 12 pounds of like spicy Cheeto, like spicy Dorito noodle or some shit. And they're like gorging themselves and talking about this horrifying like situation and I just should they be allowed to do it yes I think they should be 100% allowed to do it but it's just think imagine being a family member imagine like your, your mom gets murdered by a serial killer and then you go on YouTube and you see some super fucking overweight chick some super overweight white chick who's gorging herself on a absolutely disgusting amount of food and talking about your dead mom. It's fucking. It's. That would be reasonably, really, probably very upsetting. That's. It's gross. It's gross. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. It's gross. <laughs> and so I don't. You know, I just, it's not my kind of content. It's not my thing. They should be allowed to do it. Yes, 100% they should be allowed to do it. But I do think that certain channels like JCS who are doing this content in a very, very educational and very respectful way and him getting all of his stuff taken down and demonetized, I think that was completely ridiculous and YouTube, I think, lost out on a really, really good channel that was making them a shitload of money, I'm sure, because, I mean, they, the like, JCS did an amazing job, and they brought in tons of video, like, viewers, like, I mean, millions upon millions of viewers to every single video. So, yeah, no. It's... It's a topic. I do wish that YouTube would be more lenient. I do think that channels like JCS Psychology were able to stick around longer, but they couldn't because of uh, YouTube's lovely, lovely, lovely policies. Thank you, YouTube. We all love you. So I do think that I'm going to end the stream in a minute. We're gonna end the stream in a minute. <laughs> Because I do have things that I want to do today. And I'm just running around grabbing crystal flies. So I think I'm going to end the stream, call it a day. 
uh, post this to YouTube. And yeah, no, I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I now know what to put the settings at so that I'm not completely drowned out uh, by the audio. That was a really unfortunate thing to spend a good decent portion of the beginning of the stream totally drowned out. But I now know what to do. I know how to keep the settings. Uh, hopefully things won't be as much of a disaster as they were doing this because this was actually disaster. Uh, so yeah, uh, punch you. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, to those who came by to watch this. Uh, this is pretty fun. My throat fucking hurts and so <laughs> <it's> <laughs> Oh shit. So yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm done for the day. Uh, I'll probably stream <laughs> maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. One of these days, probably in the evening. In the evening, one of these days. So yeah, no, I'll be back eventually. Thank you for watching.